major announcement today for the Ontario economy, the Niagara region and the city of Port Colborne. A multinational Japanese corporation is planning a new electric vehicle battery plant in Niagara, which could mean new jobs and economic growth. Al Sweeney has the story. The mayor of Port Colborne says this is one of the biggest things ever to happen in his city, with the prime minister making the announcement. Today we're here for another generational investment that we're announcing. The Japanese company, Asai Kasei, will invest $1.6 billion to build a battery separator plant here in Port Colborne, Ontario. A battery separator keeps the positive and negative sides of a battery from shorting out, and it's critical to batteries for electric vehicles. Along with three earlier battery plant announcements, the Premier says this one makes Ontario a world leader. We're building an end-to-end -end electric vehicle supply chain. We're connecting our northern minerals from some of the largest critical mineral deposits in the entire world and the clean steel manufacturers in Hamilton and Sault Ste. Marie to automakers and battery manufacturers. The head of the Japanese company says Canada was the third choice for the battery plant after Europe and the U.S., but that worked out well. Can you tell us anything more about this d decision? Why you decided on Port Colborne? What was it that attracted you here? Little by little, we have learned that there is a huge enthusiasm um, uh, coming from the federal government, provincial government, and the local municipal government. And also, we have found that there are plenty of uh, uh, great quality human resources available here. There's no word on the exact number of jobs involved, but land for the plant has been set aside and the mayor is expecting economic growth. It's not only going to bring the jobs to the plant, it's going to bring spin-off jobs, it's going to bring new housing, and really it's going to give a whole boost to the city. The mayor says plans are moving quickly and this plant is going to be in production by 2027. And he says more than 99% of the employees will be Ontario and Canadian workers. And the benefits could reach beyond Port Colborne. It doesn't matter where the plant is, everybody in the region is going to benefit. This is going to mean a lot to a lot of people. When people see Niagara as a, a target for a, a company of this kind, other companies are going to be looking at coming here as well. It's going to bring great job opportunities for a lot of people. Before the announcement, officials went to a high school to tell students about it. I think it's really great that Port Colborne's growing and that we're getting more opportunities. As the next generation, they welcome the new plant. It does create opportunities for sure. I think it's very important that they bring something here. Al Sweeney, CHCH News, Port Colborne.